Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. This is not what the tourist visiting Cancun usually sees. These are scenes from the outlying areas up the coast and islands offshore. But there are places that the Mexicans would like tourists to see. It would be a tremendous boost to the economy. But how to lure them here? This is one way, whale sharks. Just as tens of thousands of people around the world converge on coastal communities to go whale watching, Mexico wants to promote whale shark watching, but very cautiously, so as to ensure the whale shark's safety. One of the reasons Mexican scientists called on the expertise of Moat Marine Laboratory. Mainly because we were worried uh, that so many people were interested to visit the whale sharks. So we needed some experience from people who are well acquainted with this individual, with these animals. It's a perfect match with us at Moat Marine Laboratory because they know this habitat, they know the environment here, and they know the, the ecological importance of this area. So putting those two kinds of expertises together, we can really learn something about these animals. The whale shark is literally the biggest fish in the sea. According to some accounts, they can grow to 50 feet or more. Those we encountered wouldn't hold still long enough for us to measure. But this one had to be 40. They're the largest shark species. And yet they're not predators. They, they feed on very small things like plankton, perhaps small fishes, which is probably fortunate for us swimming with them as we were. But these are, these are very gentle, benign animals. The Mexican government is establishing strict guidelines for whale shark watching expeditions, including maintaining a certain distance from them. But on this scientific excursion, we had to get close close enough to get a sample for DNA and to attach tracking tags to them. This was Dr. Huter's first success with the sling. A minor nuisance for the shark, but a lot of excitement back on the surface. Hot dog! Piece of cake, man! We would go on to tag 18 sharks, including one satellite tracking tag. We also succeeded in getting a flesh sample for DNA analysis. The information we would gather in Mexico would go a long way back in Florida. We do see whale sharks off of the Florida Gulf Coast from time to time. The problem is that we haven't been able to predict when they're going to be there. So by working on these animals down here, where they've come together, I mean, it's just a wonderful opportunity that we wouldn't otherwise have um, off the coast of Florida. The island of Contoy, it's part of Mexico's national park system, lying a few miles off the coast of Cancun. It is home to thousands of seabirds and the site of a scientific research station that provided a base for the operation. The mission? To put tracking tags on as many whale sharks as we could find in two days. We would tag them using Hawaiian slings, but finding them? Where to begin? Well, would you believe this bunch of guys asked directions? Local fishermen are out on these waters every day, and they pointed the way. This crew had seen a group of whale sharks that morning, a few miles to the south. The rest was up to our outboard and our eyes. Though the biggest fish in the sea, spotting them in the vastness of the sea would still be quite a challenge. But our anxious eyes were not to be denied. We found them feeding on the surface, swimming slowly along with their giant mouths agape. Whale sharks aren't man-eaters. They're as docile as manatees. Filter feeders, they eat plankton, shrimp, and other tiny types of sea life. They showed no interest in us, but we were very interested in them. In many ways, the whale shark is the most uh, interesting species of shark because it's the largest species of shark, and it's probably the largest fish that's ever existed. These are animals that have been around for millions of years, feeding on plankton, and, and other small things. And we have nothing to fear from them. And yet, they have a lot to fear from us. The concern is not just scientific, it's also economic. Just as whale watching has become a big business for some coastal communities around the world, whale shark watching is a growing attraction as well. But the Mexican government wants to be sure it is done properly and without harm to the people or the big fish. So one of the, the big purposes of this project 
is to learn more about the biology of these animals so that the Mexican people can put into place conservation action plans that will preserve places like this for these animals for decades to come.